The last dinosaur documentary I reviewed is Jurassic Fight Club, which seems to be among one of my more popular videos with a positive reception. And with the exception of a few knickknacks here and there, I'd say I'm satisfied. So I figured I'd make a video of a similar kind of subject, only instead of a dino doc that I'm critical of, one I'm more positive, Planet Dinosaur. I guess one aspect I'll state is comparing to Jurassic Fight Club is the voiceover, where it ends up just being narration with infographic instead of the usual talking heads, which kind of helps keep with the immersion. There's also the fact this documentary doesn't really try to have a story, which I think works in its benefit, mainly just dinosaurs doing life. As to be frank, dinosaurs are not meant to be complex creatures. They are in fact animals, so it doesn't make sense to conform these creatures into human stories. That is an issue I've had with other animated dinosaur documentaries like Dinosaur Planet or Jurassic Fight Club. Really, the only show that I feel made dinosaur stories work is Walking with Dinosaurs, where they are simple, corresponding with the creatures and environment, such as surviving in the winter, or being the top predator, believable tales of the likes of animals, which is helpful especially after the series explored other timelines, such as with the Age of Mammals, stories could afford to be more complex, or prior time periods with fish, a metric showing the varying capabilities of life. Anyway, the point is I don't mind Planet Dinosaur to have really no story. It's not grand, but it's not what it's intended to be. It works with his little emotional bits, as well as dynamic with Hexiopteryx feasting on small island sauropods. Another theme of note is the animation. Now the models are accurate, with few minor exceptions like the Spinosaur tail. Now I'll state that the movement is a bit jerky. Looks good when still, but often in motion you see the stiffness. Also doesn't help that there's a ton of cuts in action. I'll state one pro is the avian-esque movements. A lot of the bird dinosaurs feel very bird-like. This right here, it's like a giant turkey. There's also accuracy which is always a consideration for a dinosaur documentary. For the most part, a lot of the information is correct, with good old evidence to back it up. Occasionally there'd be an unfounded claim, like Rugops being a scavenger, or something that just doesn't seem likely, like these sort of swordfish swimming up the river to lay eggs, even though they aren't known for doing that. Then there's the interesting issue of some of the facts being out of date. A great example is Sinusopter, as they explain it to have a poisonous bite, despite not. It was believed due to tooth structure, but closer evidence shows unlikely. I thought we learned our lesson from T-Rex. Shame, because they also revealed the real color of the feathers. Overall, I recommend it. Got some decent moments, and you might learn a thing or two. Not quite the spectacle WWD was, but I think you'd find something.